Ladies and gentlemen, first and foremost, I want Mitch McConnell to be healthy, happy. I want him to live a long life. And I hope that he gets back to work in the same manner that he did prior to his recent issues. So I wish only the best for Senator McConnell. That being said, although we disagree on politics, I want him to be healthy and happy and live a very long life. That being said, however, it's only a matter of time before Rick Scott or a Republican senator that is aligned with Trump, an ally of former President Donald Trump, takes over. When Republicans lost Georgia and Arizona, they did not do so because of Donald Trump. They did so because they stood by as Democrats uh, for, what, six years, seven years, but for two years with a special counsel with Robert Mueller, basically accused a Republican president. So Republicans in the Senate and Republicans in the House under Mitch McConnell and under uh, Paul Ryan allowed Democrats to investigate Donald Trump, a Republican president, because Clinton and Democrats purchased a steel dossier, which was a complete fabrication, completely debunked immediately after it was utilized to investigate Trump, only full of false information, completely made up fantasy, probably about Bill's life, Bill, you know, uh, the life of a Democrat anyway. It was complete nonsense, the steel dossier. But the Federal Bureau of Investigation under James Comey and others utilized the dossier. And they accused Trump of things he didn't do. They said he was a Kremlin operative. He never was. He was never working with another country. That was uh, the epitome of information that misinforms. And Republicans stood by. What did they think w was going to happen? What did Mitch McConnell and Paul Ryan and Republican donors think was going to happen? Do you see Democrats investigating Biden? No, there's a special counsel with Hunter and with Joe only to prevent um, to, to, to prevent investigations by Republicans in the House. So the special counsel has no, the Washington Post, uh, New York Times, MSNBC, CNN, New Yorker, New York Magazine, every publication on the planet or within the United States especially that focuses on politics was obsessed with the Mueller probe. The special counsels into uh, Democrats have zero, the media have zero interest in these special counsels, and so it's completely different. So if you're a pundit on the left, you could say, well, we have their special counsels against Biden also. No, completely different. They were obsessed. And by the way, the special counsel, Mueller asked for millions of documents, ruined the lives of a great many, or tried to ruin the lives of a great many people, indicted people on process crimes. Okay, so nobody was working with the Kremlin, but they indicted people on allegedly lying to the Federal Bureau of Investigation. You don't see that. There, was, there were no congressional subpoenas being honored when it comes to a special counsel. A special counsel against Hunter or Biden um, for classified documents, I don't believe, has asked for anyone to testify yet. And they certainly haven't treated the inner circle around Biden in the same manner they treated the people around Trump. So then you wonder why... Uh, Republicans lose major elections in places like Arizona and Georgia, both red states. Hit subscribe to this channel right now, ladies and gentlemen. So Republican leadership is very close. He's he's essentially going to retire soon, and I wish him only the best, like I said, happiness and you know, health and prosperity for Mitch McConnell, although I disagree with him. But here, Mitch McConnell says he supports Mueller investigation. May 24th, 2018. Well, again, what did you expect? The, the Republican Party would rather lose than have record low poverty with Trump and a foreign policy that brings home Americans. The Doha Agreement and other theaters of conflict, Trump brought home Americans. He is the anti-war choice. If you don't believe that to be true, then you really don't know much about politics. If you are against never-ending military conflict, then vote for Trump. If you don't mind Americans being sent everywhere on the planet, then vote for Democrats or a person like Paul Ryan or Mitch McConnell. 
They say like you sometimes you hear, oh, I love Nikki Haley or I like, you know, um, uh, maybe somebody else without all the baggage Trump has. Well, it's like, uh, yeah, if media, the Democratic Party, late night, social media algorithms, if they all converge against Nikki Haley, for example, or DeSantis, they won't stand a chance. Trump is the only candidate that doesn't actually need media. He doesn't care. Um, he is the Obi-Wan Kenobi of politics. They can accuse him of everything under the sun. They can indict him. They can get a milk shot of Trump. And he only gets stronger and more popular because people know what's taking place. They know that Trump's direct political rivals are going after him, which is what they accuse him of doing for asking one little question of uh, a pre another president in a phone call. They impeached him for that. So, I mean, you have rampant criminality with, with Biden and with uh, Clinton's server and others. And I think Hillary Clinton will be the 24 nominee for the Democratic Party. I know people think I'm nuts, but hit subscribe to this channel, ladies and gentlemen, to support my work. My Patreon is below. We're ramping up the channel again. You'll get two more segments today. So continue to watch all throughout the day and every day from here on out. We will have... Um, a live, we'll have live streams soon in a, in a month or so, and we'll have interviews with some really, really wonderful, wonderful people. Uh, I am go, uh, reaching out and going to reach out to really amazing people, and you will love the live streams. And this channel is going to grow, ladies and gentlemen, to hopefully over 300,000 subscribers soon. But to read my writing in The Hill, The Huffington Post, Salon, The Jerusalem Post, The Federalist, go to hagoodman.com. McConnell says he supports Mueller investigation. So, again... How many times have you had Democrats supporting an investigation into Hunter Biden or Clinton servers or any of the rampant criminality? Um, the, you could see you could just look at um, Bankman Freed, the second largest donor of the Democratic Party, the crypto billionaire who was running a Ponzi scheme. Because he was the second largest donor, the Washington Post, the New York Times, MSNBC, CNN, and others just look look the other way. They don't obsess over this man. He is basically the digital Bernie Madoff, but they don't care. So if the way the way it works is the following: with Trump, he doesn't even have the Republican Party. He has no support in media. Fox News doesn't even really support Trump. Um, they reluctantly give him uh, a little bit of a voice with Hannity and, well, Tucker Carlson was forced out. So what does Trump have? He has 70 plus million Americans who chose him two years ago. OK, um, we have 2024 around the corner, ladies and gentlemen. Um, you're going to see eventually a new Republican Senate that is going to be huge, whether it's Rick Scott or another uh, senator, you're going to have a Senate along with um, McCarthy in the House that actually backs a former Republican president. So McConnell blasts proposal to wind down authority. So the the traditional Republican, the the Lincoln Project or Bush, Cheney, and Rumsfeld type of Republican is not uh, the Republican Party that exists today. I mean, I should say he's not as influential as. The old school Republicans were back in the day. McConnell is basically politically like a dinosaur in terms of politics and viewpoint. He doesn't want to um, limit uh, military interventions like Trump. He actually is against the withdrawal of the AUMF, the Authorization for Use of Military Force, which was which allows the president to unilaterally do a bunch of things in terms of uh, a military conflict to cir that circumvents uh, congressional approval, Just sending Americans anywhere in the world at a moment's notice uh, because of, you know, obviously sep September 11th, 2001. So the AUMF was implemented after th that absolute catastrophe. And it is, it gives the president far too much power to send Americans anywhere in the world. Well, Republicans like Mitch McConnell oppose that. You don't want that type of Republican anymore. You want a Republican like Donald Trump, who, uh, with the Doha Agreement, Abraham Accords, record low poverty, he got us out of military entanglements and interven he was against interventions. And he said, and he said many times, the, the 
catastrophe and the conflict and the quagmire in Europe would never have happened had he remained president. Anyway, give me your thoughts below. McConnell is on, on the way out. I wish him only the best in health. And we'll have a new Senate backing Trump. That's going to be huge for 24. Thank you. Hit subscribe.